have Dash, Kitana, Letty and Melina. So today we're making hand, feet and paw print impression memory boxes. Now let's get started. To make the hand, feet or paw print impression memory box, you will need some clay. We are using air drying clay and the amount that you will need will depend on how many impressions you're making. We're making eight, so we have about four kilos. You will also need some plaster of Paris and some water. You will be making it according to the instructions on the back of your packet. You will also need some paint, two different colors. We're using black to paint the box and also silver for the impressions. You will of course need some paint brushes and we have a marker. This part is optional. We're just using it to write the names. You will need a glue gun and some glue sticks of course and some memory boxes. We're using wooden memory boxes. We have three but that will of course depend on how many impressions you're making and how many you want in each box. Okay time to make the impressions. Okay let's open up the clay. Do you need some help? Yes, please. So we're going to knead the clay to make it a bit softer and easier to make the impressions. Okay, let's start kneading it. Lift your foot up slowly, carefully get your toes out, got it, okay. Open your hand. Good boy, Zachy. One. One, two, one, three, two, one. Oh, girl! Can you lift your paw up? So this is how our impressions turned out. And now I'm going to make the plaster of Paris according to the instructions on the back of the packet.
So after two to three hours, the plaster should be hard enough to peel out of the clay molds. Be very careful as they're still very fragile and they have not completely hardened. The plaster of Paris takes about 24 hours for it to completely harden. So after you have peeled it out of the clay molds, put it back in there and leave it for about 12 hours or overnight to set. And then the next day or after 12 hours, take it out of the mold and flip it on the other side of the impression and leave that side to set for another 12 hours or overnight as well as the inside has been sitting in the clay it might still be very fragile and hasn't completely set as it's sitting in the clay not exposed to the air so let the other side set as well and when taking out the impressions, if you are not 100% happy with it, there might be some air bubbles or it has cracked, you can remove the plaster of Paris and then remake some more and fill the molds again. There were a couple that I was not 100% happy with as I made the plaster of Paris a bit too thick or I filled the molds a bit too much and I think one of mine did crack as well. I just made some more plaster of Paris according to the instructions and just refilled the molds again and they were perfect to use again and again. Just be very careful when you're using the clay molds when you're taking it out that you're not cracking the clay as if you are going to refill it you have to make sure it's in the same impression there's no cracks in the clay or anything like that or that can affect your impressions as well. Once you've let the plaster harden, you might notice some of the edges are a little bit rough. You can use some sandpaper to smooth it out. Now it's time to paint the impressions. I'm going to be painting them silver. You don't have to, you can paint them gold or any other color that you prefer. Just make sure you put two coats and cover all the white. And now it's time to paint the wooden memory boxes. You can paint it whatever colour you like or you can skip this step altogether. But I'm going to be painting my wooden memory boxes black.
Be very careful when painting the wooden memory boxes. I found it really hard to get the paint off the glass when it dried and make sure you let each side dry before painting the other side. So after I painted the impressions with that silver paint, I wasn't really happy with the type of silver paint that I bought. It was very sheer and it wasn't metallic. So I ended up getting some metallic silver spray paint. I tested it out on one of it and I was really happy with how it turned out. So I spray painted the rest of them. I've just got one more to spray paint and then I'm gonna let everything dry for 24 hours. So I'm just going to let everything dry for about 24 hours and then I'm going to assemble the memory boxes. Now that everything is dried, it's time to put the memory boxes together. While I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up, I'm going to rearrange the impressions on the back of the frame and once I'm happy with it, I'm going to hot glue it down. Once you have finished hot gluing the impressions down, give it about 10 to 15 minutes for the hot glue to completely cool down and then you can put the frames back together. You can decorate it with the metallic markers. I love the way it looks so I'm not going to decorate the front except on the back I'm just going to be writing their name and the year that we made it. So this is what our wooden hand, feet and paw print impression memory boxes look like. Well I think that's about it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, so bye! bye.